Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a tutorial today and these are the two effects I'm going to be doing a tutorial on. This one is going to be on this one. You are going to need the totally terrific transition pack. I'm just going to be doing a simpler version of that. So you just click on any of these and just record a clip. And then go onto this scissor thing over here and new, record new clip. And just another one of you. And then we're just going to do the same thing again. Record new clip. And then we are going to go on to new, mix clips. And scroll across until you find this one back here. And then click on that. And just click on any of these on all of them. And then we'll click on this button there. And you can scroll it up or down or whatever. So it looks like that. And then click mix clips. The second effect you're going to need to use a green screen, but I've already filmed mine. So then you're going to go on to new and mix clips. And then scroll across until you find this one bigger. And you're going to click on that on both of them. And then get rid of that transition bit there with that one. Scroll across and just put one there. And then scroll across again and put another one there. So then it's like that. And then mix clips. We're going to go on here and go on the one before, the one you just made, so the original, and put them both on that one. And then you're going to get rid of that. And then add one with there and add another one there, make them bigger. And we're going to go onto this button here and click from top. So it's like... And then mix clips. And then you're going to go on new, mix clips again. And click on that one. And bottom. And put the original clip again on one and two. Clips. Now you've done that, you go on new multi layer clip and just get any green background. So I'm just going to just get a green from there and then put the front as any of these clips. I'm going to use that one there and then get rid of the background and then I'm going to put it there. So then it's like that and then create. Then you're going to click on new multi layer clip again and put the one you just like did in the back and on the front you'll just use the opposite when it's going down and then you put that one over there so it's like this and then create you're then going to click on new multi layer clip again and then do the one you just used and the one you first created and then next. So then that one is going like that. And then create this. Then you go on new multi layer clip again. And the back, just use footage. You could use any footage you like. And then the front will be the last clip that you just did. And just get rid of all the background. So then it will be like that. And then click create and yes. Finally, you just go on new mix clips and go all the way to the bottom in the last one. And then you do the one with the red background and then just use photo again. And then you go on this button by here, get rid of all transitions. And you click on that one and then do it again. There, so it goes like this. The third fact is this. Firstly, you open any song that you want to use and record a clip. This usually works better in front of a white wall. And then click new and re-effect clip. Then you click new effects and then you go on the paintbrush tab here and scroll across until you find white and try and make sure the background's quite white. 
and then you pack it. Then you click new re-effect again and just make a new effect and go across until you find this colour thing there and just change it up and down if you wanted to and re-effect. Then you click new re-effect and go on to new effects and go on contrast and you can move it up or down whatever and then and then re-effect. Then you go on new re-effect clip and just click on the contrast you already did. You can move it up and down on the side and just re-effect it again. 